morning everybody this is pop art painter jamie rocks and this is artist notes today we're going to talk about my painting i uh painted last month of uh actress and model sharon tate um sharon tate she was pretty cool she was in the uh, mid 60s it's it's kind of a tragic story uh in actuality uh which we'll get to but yeah she was a uh, a model and actress in the uh in the 60s in the mid 60s um well she did a lot a, a few minor parts and this and that she's in the uh, episode of the man from uncle and uh, a couple things and in the mid 60s she was hailed as uh, one of hollywood's most promising newcomers and um really what put her on the map was when she um was in uh, 196 it was in 1967 um she played jennifer north in the cult classic valley of the dolls she's the uh the sex pot who took the blue pills. Uh, Valley of the Dolls, of course, is a uh, phenomenal movie. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you do. And um, I know for a fact it's streaming on Netflix right now. Uh, this is into February 2016, so if you're listening to this, you know, six months down the road, I don't know if it'll still be on Netflix streaming. I imagine it will be. It's a cult classic and just great movie. I would suggest checking that out. Uh, the year after, she was in The Fearless Vampire Killers with uh, Roman Polanski. And uh, in 1968, uh, she married him. And uh, they, she got pregnant. Uh, they were expecting um, their uh, son. And um, she was eight and a half months pregnant. And she was murdered in her home, uh, along with four others, by the group known as the Manson Family. That happened uh, beginning of August 1969. And yeah, they were followers of Charles Manson, and it was just terrible, terrible. Okay, enough about Sharon Tate, the uh, actress, and on with Sharon Tate, the painting. Um, there's not much to say about this painting. I, you know, she's just a cool figure in uh, pop culture history and 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 cinema, and, and I just I dug her. I really dug her as Jennifer North. I got to tell you, and that's that's what I based the painting on. She's got that um, just you know back combed blonde hair that just goes on for miles baby um super thick in that 60s style uh of course i spent a lot of time with this painting uh with the hair uh just because it's it's just really iconic of her uh, a lot of shadowing a lot of detail in that and um it, it came out pretty good i i you know i like it of course i did the uh face and the uh you know all of that as I normally do in, in my uh, particular style, uh, you know, where I I do the, uh, I, I do it reverse of the way you're taught, actually. <laughs> I do all the shadowing and everything first. And the last thing I, well, second to the last thing I do is, is lay the skin over top of that. Um, and then, of course, I do all the uh, the black inking last. You know, you know, they teach in art school to paint dark to light. A uh, little, little trick, I do the opposite of that. Um, I, I like the way it, it looks. It looks more uh, mechanically produced. It doesn't look as painty, painery, if, if that's a word. You know what I mean. But uh, yeah. And of course, in the background, I did the uh, contrasting blues. And a slight nod in reference to uh, the, that <laughs> the great tech. What it was, folks, in the trailer for Valley of the Dolls, um, man, I don't know. His, I can't remember his name. The the uh, announcer who who did the voiceover work for all these trailers back in the day. Um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, it doesn't matter. He they, they went through the main characters of these these gals uh, in suburban Hollywood that you know were were having all kinds of hell and issues and stuff, and and they all took a different kind of pill. That was that was the whole thing, you know, mother's little helper and and all of that kind of jazz and. Uh, yeah, Jennifer North, uh, she she took the blue pills, so that, that's why the uh, in the background's got that contrasting blues. I think it it it, it and it even contrasts more with the uh, the blonde of her hair, so that works out. Okay, on to the next. Uh, this is, has been artist notes. Oh, I should say a little bit more about the painting. Man, I gotta write a timeline or a. a uh, not a time it doesn't matter i gotta write down uh, notes or something because uh, i always forget to do this this painting is a 16 by 20 acrylic and oil blend on duck canvas it is stretched of course it comes back finished wired and ready to go on the wall all of my paintings come with artist provence uh, which is signed and 
has my fingerprint on it, and uh, that's the paperwork you, you'll need in, when you get to the point where you, uh, if you're not there already, where you insure your artworks and whatnot. They'll want to see all that and, um, you know, to, to, to prove a, uh, originality, uh, you know, what it is and everything. And um, also, of course, uh, paintings come with a couple cards to pass out to friends or potential clients. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And a little bio about me. Uh, we, we ship these out real nice. We crate them up real, real nice. Seal them. Because um, you never know, you know, in, in shipping, it sure is nice down here in South Florida, but, you know, I, wherever these may be going, it, you know, it, it may not be. So we make sure they're sealed up and, and just perfect and, uh, and all of that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sharon Tate. I, uh, great painting. Uh, it is available as of today. Uh, like I said, it's the end of February 2016, February 25th. Uh, in our eBay auction. So if you're interested in this painting, uh, go ahead and give a bid on it. And um, there you go. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you next time.